find some things down here. I've been steam cleaning that chair because my uncle's going to be taking them. Um, and we are snowed in outside. That's for sure. Um, I just want, this is just a random video. And this video is called, How to, How, Basic Tips on Keeping Your Car Clean. Well, as you can see, it's snowy outside right now. So what I like to do in the winter time, and this has been passed down, what we usually do is, uh, we, uh, we always put towels in the, usually the passenger seat and the driver's seat to keep wear and tear and dirt and snow and muddiness that follows up for spring to get on the carpet floor mats. But if you have vinyl, it don't really matter. Or rubber ones, you don't really need a towel for that. But if you got a lot of carpet exposed, throw a towel down. Uh, one of the other things that I like to do is uh, before my battery goes dead is just uh, if you smoke put your uh put your cigarette butts in the ashtray and try not to flick it on to the uh console because the ash actually eats it stains the uh over a while it stains the black gray that's for sure i tried cleaning it one time but anyway those are just two things that i can think of maybe uh just keep it regularly clean just uh, wash and wax it regularly, and uh, in the winter time, take it to the uh, car wash, wash it, spray all the salt off of it, and sometimes it helps put a little hot wax on it every now and then. But make sure you spray up underneath the wheel wells and stuff to not cause rust and stuff. Make sure you always wash your car at least once a week in the springtime, and dry it off real good, and spray up underneath of it with their high pressure water. So I hope these tips have just helped. So. This is just the basic tips on keeping your car clean uh, in the winter time and summer. Make sure kick your uh, kick the snow off your shoes and stuff to cause uh, when you get in the car. Sometimes it freezes and can fog up the windows. So uh, kick the snow off your shoes when you get in or something, and sweep it out regularly, and uh, don't let a lot of dirt get ground into it, or that can come back and cause a lot of problems later because you don't want to have to have so much work to do. So if you keep on this stuff regularly, you won't have to do it in the long run, as Don Henley says. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe, rate, and comment, and more videos will come on how to detail your car. I'm not sure how many parts, but it will come. From now on, I'm going to do...